So here we are on the train back from Osablaha on the one coach narrow gauge train. As no doubt you can see from behind me. I came across from Tremesna earlier today and then had a nice lunch and a beer in Osablaha and we're just on our way back. So I'm going to whisk you back to Tremesna and together we can enjoy this unique train ride. You'll find Tremesna to the northwest of Ostrava, Opava and Kernoff. I uh, got the train from Kernoff, one of the local trains, and hopped off at Tremesna. The narrow gauge line is just 20 kilometres long, but it will take us a full 49 minutes to complete the journey. Top speed, probably about 40 kilometres per hour. Available in the train itself was a really lovely hand-drawn map, so uh, if you're interested, then do freeze here and have a closer look. Right, so off the train at Tremesna. I wasn't quite sure where I was going, but everybody else seemed to know, so I just trucked along with them. There was a fair smattering of locals, uh, but quite a lot of people, obviously tourists, uh, trying out the line, other train fans. A very wide and ample uh, station platform, far more than we needed on this particular Sunday morning. Anyway, let's hop aboard this... Uh, beautiful coach. Today we'll be riding on one of the lines two Tatra built coaches that date from 1965. First up we run parallel to the standard gauge line at Tremesna and then peel off to the right on our own little way off to the Polish border. Inside as you'd expect nice 2 plus 2 and the seats pretty comfortable actually considering the age. And the first time for quite a long time, I would say, I've been on a train where there's actually ashtrays available. But this is the killer, isn't it? Open the window and get the fresh air and enjoy the countryside. Our motive power today will be 705913, which is one of the Class T47 diesel locomotives that were first delivered to the line in the late 1950s. 705913 had a complete overhaul in 2010 with a new diesel engine and modern electronics. There is a second locomotive, 914, that is available should there be any problems with 913. The key to the continued success of the branch is the tourist trains that have been added to the service running on steam traction. These are actually provided by a separate heritage company known as SZD, Sleske Zemske Drahi, and regularly at weekends they run steam specials on the line. Sadly I wasn't able to come on a particular day this time when they were running steam trains but it's certainly something I'd love to come back and do. But regardless of that, the line itself is really the star for me. Our Class 705 powering us through the countryside at breakneck speed. So at one end of our coach there's room to park your bike and of course it's a lovely place just to stand and enjoy that view. Something I'm sure you'll notice thanks to the investment brought about by the heritage trains. Nearly all the stations along the line are either already repaired or being repaired and brought up to a very high standard. Well here we are, 2 plus 2 and 2 different compartments and it seems to be that the locals are sitting in this one and most of us tourists are in the front compartment. But yes, a beautiful day and here we are pulling into Bohushov. Again showing the extensive work that's been done on all the station buildings along the line. Bohushov appears to have a passing loop as well especially useful for the days when the heritage line is running. 
and there's certainly a lot more traffic. Man, this is so lovely. Right, time to have a quick look at the facilities. Well, there is a toilet, and I think that's a bonus. Of course, lots of fresh air. And there's actually two very good sources of fresh air in the toilet, which keeps it fresh. And everything's in place and working fine. And yep, there's the other fresh air access. Hopefully uh, none of my fellow passengers will consider anything beyond a number one on this particular trip. And soon we're careering down the straightaway on our way to our destination, Osoblaha. Again, finally another station with a brand new platform, and we come to a stop. And that was just a lovely run. So let's have a look at what's going on at the station. Well, our guard, our ticket collector, becomes second man as they complete the run around of the locomotive. Now there's not actually another train for an hour and a half, but I think uh, their speed at getting this job done means that they can get home for their lunch. Certainly watching these images, it feels like you are stepping back in time to a bygone age. And it is wonderful that we can still enjoy this in 2022. And there we go, coupled up, ready to go. Can lock up the engine and get off and get some lunch. Don't mind if I do. Hopefully you've enjoyed this short video and I'd certainly encourage you to follow my footsteps and come to this lovely little line. It was one of the highlights of my week in the Czech Republic. If you have enjoyed the video then please uh, like and subscribe for similar videos. I like to release one at least every week. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.